Hi guys, Steve here. I hope you're well. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to deposit Ethereum into Gala Games to pay for gas fees. Now, the gas fees that you need at the moment when you deposit are for buying things in the store using your Gala Ethereum. So you can see there I've got Gala Ethereum balance. There's also the Gala coin on the Gala chain indicated by the GC at the end of the amount. Um, so when I earn coin each day from the nodes, that goes into this balance here where there's 42,000 coins. And then what I then need to do if I want to do anything such as buy an NFT, I need to transfer that into Gala on the Ethereum blockchain. And to do that, there is a gas fee. And that gas fee is paid in Ethereum. So I need to deposit Ethereum to take care of the gas fee. It's worth pointing out that in the future, the Ethereum gas fees will hopefully be done away with because they're looking at bringing out their own sort of gas fees, hence the Gala chain and this Gala, the Ethereum fees will then go away. Uh, they're looking at the first quarter of 2022 for that. So I'm quite excited about that because getting rid of the gas fees will be lovely. <laughs> Anyway, you can see that my Ethereum balance is showing really at zero dollars. There's a little bit of Ethereum in there, but it's not really worth much. So if we go into the Gala on the Ethereum and I try to send that to say my external wallet, you'll see that I need Ethereum to make the transaction. So that's why I need to be putting Ethereum into Gala to account for the gas fees. Uh, the gas fees are quite low at the minute, which is good news. So I'll, I'll hopefully go as quickly as possible to get this through to take advantage of the uh, low fees and so I'm going to buy it at Coinbase uh, you can use any exchange where you can buy Ethereum which is you know most of them like Ethereum blockchain uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin being sort of ever present every, everywhere um, Coinbase isn't the main wallet I use but you can see I've got a little bit of Ethereum in there already I'm not going to use that I'm going to buy some more because that Ethereum that I'm uh, have there is some that I'm hodling. So I click buy in the top right corner. It brings up this page. Now from the drop down menu, I choose which coin I would like to buy. So I would like to buy some Ethereum, as uh, simple as that. I then choose the amount that I would like to buy. This is in GBP and I think I'm just gonna go for a hundred pound. I could if I wished uh, specify it in Ethereum, but I'll just go for hundred pound. Should be about three or four pound fee on that. Uh, three pound eighty four, which would give me zero point zero two eight seven nine Ethereum uh, to add to my balance that's already in there of zero point one eight. So if I click uh, buy now, we can see the preview. Click buy now. This will hopefully go through uh, with my bank, and I should have some Ethereum that I can then look to ping over to Gala Games. So it'll just go through my bank's usual checks and processes and then we're ready to go. So hurrah, I've got a successful purchase. I've purchased 0.02879617 Ethereum to be precise. That's gone into my assets. My, You can see my portfolio balance has increased. My Ethereum balance has increased and I now need to send that over to, um, send that over to Gala Games. So I'm just making a note of the amount that I've purchased and I'll look to send the same amount over uh, so I'll just pop that on the other screen for a second so in Gala Games in my inventory we can see we've got the Ethereum wallet here so I'm just going to click into there and I've got the options of get Ether or get Ethereum which I want to do so that then has my address which is my Ethereum address within Gala Games so all I need to do is copy that address and um, pop that into Coinbase to send it over. So we'll just go over to Coinbase. All I need to do now is click send and receive in the top right corner. You've got the options of sending or receiving. Obviously I'm sending. Uh, it comes up in GBP, but if I switch it over to Ethereum, so if, you know, I could just say, oh, I'll send 95 quid, which was about right after the fee. You are in fact 96 pound after the fee. Um, I can just paste that address in there and that's going to be roughly right because it was I spent a hundred pounds and it was a four pound fee so effectively I received 96 pound of Ethereum um, so that's you know going to roughly be right if I click continue I could have done it in the exact Ethereum but 
I mean, it's pretty much accurate. There's no fee from Coinbase. Uh, there is a network fee from Ethereum. And in total, so basically there's another five pound fee on top of that. Unfortunately, that is the way either the exchange makes a fee or the network makes a fee. Uh, I just need to do my 2FA as always. If you're doing anything in this space and you get the option to add 2FA, I highly recommend it so that you uh, protect your assets as much as possible. So I'm just grabbing that on my phone while I stall. Um, and here we go. Tap that in there, click confirm, and it should only take a few seconds, and that should be on its way. That's great. So that is on its way. It says it takes usually takes less than 10 minutes, and we shall see how we get on. By the magic of video, I will, I will uh, bring you back, and it should hopefully have magically appeared over at Gala Games. So I'll go back to the inventory, and hopefully you'll see that that balance has changed. And indeed, it just changed then uh, to 0 0.03 Ethereum. So if I, um, I shall have a look at now, go to the inventory, I'll have a look at notifications. I'll look at notifications, and you can see there at the top that I have received uh, Ethereum into the inventory. Thank you very much. If I click on inventory again, you can see that balance is within there. If I click into it, you can see the deposit is registered there and confirmed. So that, was how to deposit Ethereum into Gala Games to pay for your gas fees. Uh, I hope it's been useful. I've got lots more videos coming in this series showing you how to buy NFTs, etc. So please do have a look. Uh, please hit the like button if you found it useful. Any comments, leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that's it. Uh, consider subscribing, please do. And I'll see you on the next video. All the best and take care.